Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Wenli Liu. Peripheral neuropathy is a prevalent chronic illness. It is also a common chemotherapy side effect of certain agents such as paclitaxel, uh, oxaloplatin, etc. The rate of peripheral neuropathy can be as high as 90% with oxaloplatin. Symptoms of chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy usually occur acutely, but many patients can suffer from such a side effect for a long period of time after completing um, their treatments. Some even have permanent uh, symptoms. So how do we prevent such a side effect? Let's first identify associated uh, risk factors and then take steps to reduce them. The risk factors of chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy include age, family history of peripheral neuropathy, alcohol, diabetes, um, hypomagnesemia, meaning low magnesium levels, anemia, and hypoalbuminemia, meaning low albumin levels. We cannot change the factors of age and family history but the other factors are modifiable. Um, so let's uh, talk about alcohol first. Alcohol can cause peripheral neuropathy by itself. It can also make the other risk factors much worse. Here's why. One, alcohol causes vitamin deficiencies, especially folic acid and vitamin B12 deficiencies, which are known to cause peripheral neuropathy. Two, alcohol depletes magnesium. On one hand, alcohol metabolism consumes uh, magnesium. On the other hand, alcohol increases magnesium loss through the kidneys. So alcohol can cause low magnesium levels and low magnesium levels can exacerbate diabetes and other metabolic disorders because energy metabolism, including sugar metabolism, requires magnesium. Number three, alcohol can cause liver injuries and makes low albumin levels even worse because albumin is made in the liver. Number four, alcohol can inhibit the bone marrow and makes anemia worse. Because of its inhibitory effect on the bone marrow, alcohol amplifies chemotherapy's effect on the bone marrow. So avoiding alcohol is an important step in preventing chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. Now let's talk about diabetes. Just like alcohol, diabetes can also cause peripheral neuropathy. Long-term high blood sugars are responsible for the development of diabetic peripheral neuropathy. So controlling sugar is an important uh, step in preventing diabetic neuropathy. But can sugar control prevent chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy? I think it can. Based on mechanistic reasoning and clinical observation, in my practice, dietary approaches are often used to help control blood sugar. And I have observed dietary control helps prevent peripheral neuropathy and reduce the severity of symptoms. Nonetheless, randomized controlled clinical trials are needed to test the efficacy of dietary blood sugar control in preventing chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. Now let's look at um, the other three factors, hypomagnesemia, anemia, and hypoalbuminemia. These three factors appear to be nutritional factors. Indeed, these three factors should prompt us to make dietary uh, strategies to help ensure adequate intake of calories and nutrients, including protein, magnesium, and iron. But we do need to look at nutrition from two opposite aspects, intake and consumption. Nutritional intake is relatively easy to understand, but how should we see consumption, meaning how our body uses nutrients? 
our body's metabolism consumes nutrients. So when we make food choices, we do need to limit calorie dense but nutrient poor foods, such as alcohol, which can increase metabolic consumption of nutrients and resulting in deficit of nutrients. Certain pathologic processes, such as chronic inflammation, can increase nutrient consumption and interfere with our body's proper use of nutrients. For instance, chronic inflammation can interfere with the bone marrow's proper use of iron and causes anemia. So our dietary strategies to prevent chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy should focus on a complete and balanced diet and an anti-inflammatory dietary pattern. Here's a question that my patient asks me very often. How about nutritional supplements? Would they enhance my nutrition in a much more efficient way? Well, some research clinical trials were also based on similar premises. For instance, based on the action of magnesium and calcium on nerve conduction, intravenous magnesium and calcium infusion before chemotherapy was used to help prevent peripheral neuropathy, but the research result was not as expected. When we look at those results nowadays, we're not surprised. Why? Let's look back at the risk factors for chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. Most of the factors are metabolic and nutritional disorders. As a matter of fact, age and family history of peripheral neuropathy are most likely nutritional and metabolic issues. These risk factors indicate a very complex mechanism in the development of peripheral neuropathy. So replacement of a single or several nutrients is unlikely to stop or reverse the pathophysiology. So our nutritional strategies to prevent chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy should focus on diet, not supplements. There has not been a single or a combination of supplements that can be as comprehensive as a complete and balanced diet, at least not at present. Let's talk a little bit about uh, neuropathy not caused by chemotherapy. The risk factors actually are the same, the same metabolic and nutritional uh, disorders. So the principles of prevention of peripheral neuropathy not caused by chemotherapy are essentially the same. Last, let's not forget about exercises. Though research has not shown exercise is effective in preventing peripheral neuropathy, but I think exercise is a safety measure because peripheral neuropathy usually affects sensory nerves. When the sensory function is compromised, coordination of movement is affected. The risk of injury is increased. For example, we can normally climb stairs without looking at our feet because our normal sensory function allow us to accurately sense the elevation of our foot to climb uh, those steps. But with peripheral neuropathy, that sensory accuracy is lost or inadequate. So a person can trip and fall. However, stronger muscles can provide a certain level of control of the fall in this case and maybe reduce the severity of injury. So before chemotherapy, strength training and maintenance exercises are important. That's all for peripheral neuropathy for now. Please leave comments and uh, questions and I will see you soon.